Hey, welcome back to our channel, everybody. I'm Brandon. I'm Gwen. And uh, if you like this, perfect view. Oh, of the tiki, tiki oh, no. room. This is what Gwen's talking about. Let me turn it around so you don't get dizzy. Because when you're walking, you don't really ever look up. No. Look up and it is, it is a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Clear skies. Temperature is great in the shade. Not even a cloud in the sky. Yeah, there's no clouds in the sky. Um, we are at Magic Kingdom today, obviously, because of the Tiki Bird, and we're staying in front of um, Pirates of the Caribbean. So we popped in here. Uh, oh, we, we do. Yeah. To pick we, up stuff. Yeah, to pick up stuff. Um, and I, I love just coming in here. I actually haven't been in here since last weekend. Uh, was it last weekend? Okay. Uh, I don't nah, think so. We didn't go. So it's been two weeks for me, which I am so happy to say. That Actually, <laughs> that we I, haven't met me and Lauren because we were packing some of the lives. So I yeah. think we only hit in here. two parks last week. But we did uh, walk around a little bit, uh, try to find out. Uh, we picked up a couple items here. I got it in my bag. And uh, we did stop to get something to eat at Pico Bills, which I, if you've ever been in there, I love the theming in there. I mean, uh, the restaurants all around here are, are uh, the quick service ones are okay. Uh, Pico Bills, I, I prefer because I always get the tacos and I just love the theming in it. Spicy, I can't eat them anymore. The, the, the one, the, the regular hamburger meat was. Yeah was spicy. The pork and chicken weren't. But, um, I, I got the fajitas, which they were good. I didn't eat them. It was enough. I wanted chips, though. But for some reason, I thought they came with chips. She was like, where's my chips? <laughs> I asked for salsa. I didn't have chips. Well, we are... I think there's salsa not anyway. So. Yeah. We are walking around. Uh, we may hop over to another park, right? I think so. um, because we need we things. need to get more things. Uh, well, we did we, find out the one thing we were looking for is the Mickey uh, skeleton, skeleton pop, pop, popcorn it's, bunking. It's not here. They said they sold out last night, and so we were like, "Oh, we'll park up somewhere else." And then we just because you never know. You never know. Yeah, I mean, cast members. Some cast members. <laughs> act, you know, they. I don't, I don't they know. Could kind of care less. Yeah, but we've heard did. different things from different cast members, and then we go around the corner to another store and we find what we were looking for. So, so we went to another popcorn stand, and he said park wide, but we're still gonna park. Yeah, out. we're still gonna check it out just to make just sure. To make sure. Right. Plus, we need to get some yeah. more stuff. But and it's a, it's a Mickey's not so scary, so it's gonna close early. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's a beautiful day, and, and we are just. Gorgeous, like fall weather for us. Oh, that's awesome. That's good to hear. So, so we're going to just enjoy the day and uh, come along with us. Please like it uh, and subscribe and share this video. If you enjoy this kind of content, please help us out and uh, share our content and uh, let a friend know. And we do park pickups. That's pretty much all of our vlogs or our revolve around doing the park pickups um so if there's Hopefully ever a time that we can help you find something or you've been on vacation you can't find that one item that you've been looking for or you don't want to spend your time looking for that one item while you're on vacation because disney vacations are not cheap um you know let us know we'd love to help also um i'm hoping to get some other content soon like i would really like to do some hotel reviews. Yeah, yeah. We we ideally what we would like to do is like once a month hit a non Disney hotel and do a review on it because there's just so many hotels and resorts or in the area. If you would like us to do a Disney hotel, yeah, let us know I mean, what hotel know we can try to get in. Yeah. I mean, I know it's my Disney vacation club. It's I've been looking to get into somewhere and. It's, Hard. Yeah. But let us know. But come along with us as we spend the day park hopping. If you have small ones and you are looking for something to do in Adventureland, this Pirate 
a Pirates Adventure, Treasures of the Seven Seas. This is right by, there is Pirates of the Caribbean right there. This, you got Rapunzel over there in a parade. Pico Bills right there. But this is a treasure hunt thing that you go around and it's interactive and it's all through Adventureland and it's neat during the day, but it's even neater at night. Highly recommend this. If you ever want to get away from the crowds for just a little bit, come to the Swiss Family Robinson Tree House. So we know something today. So we got in line. I looked on the app. Oh, the water, the water thing's not working. Oh, that thing's. So I, I got on the app, Pirates of the Caribbean was 15 minutes. We were standing like right there. I looked up at the sign, sure enough, 15 minutes. Start walking in and the line was pretty long. So we came out and sure enough, it had changed to 25 minutes. And then we picked up a few more things. Try to say hi to a friend, but that didn't work out. And, um, then, so hi, Maria. yeah, hi Maria. Since we didn't get a chance to say hi to you, um, uh, God looked on the app again. Jungle Cruise, 25 minutes. Walked up to the Jungle Cruise, and the line was all the way out, and there was a long line for Lightning, Lightning Lane too. So uh, I don't think that was 25 minutes. So I don't know. So we're in the Swiss Family Robinson house. Because it said zero minutes. And it is zero minutes. We didn't have to wait at all. I mean, it's always fun. And the views you get of the park up here are fantastic. And this is something that a lot of people skirt by because, you know, they got other things to do. Tom Sawyer. Yeah, Tom Sawyer Island. We haven't done Tom Sawyer Island in forever. But look at the views you get from up here. Yeah, Space Mountain, Tron, Astro Orbiter, and then as we come around the corner just a little bit more. Look at the castle. Yeah, I would love to live in a tree house like this. I would probably need air conditioning, but... If you had a nice breeze going the whole time... And you got a bunch of land right down there. Now I'm in the mood for some ice cream. I saw those people But I don't know if I want to get a Mickey Premium Bar or try our luck at the ice cream place. At uh, was it by the plaza? Uh, but yeah. but I, 
I always love walking around up here. It's just, it's neat. Oh, is that open? Oh, it only opened so far. See, they already have a bedroom. <laughs> is there a way to let them go by? There's a bedroom. Huh? I... Oh, now we're not the only one. <laughs> That's what I said. You said that. And then it was like, boom. Like, no. Wow. Wow. So we made a liar out of me. Yep. You can overlook the jungle cruise. As soon as I just said that it's quiet up here, <laughs> the whole trail people came up. <laughs> Look at that. I love the views from up here. I think because of the shadows, you're not seeing quite like what we're seeing, but it is, it is always neat. Here. Here we got a hammock. We got a rifle for protection. And I'm getting a low battery alert. So I'm gonna have to swap out the battery real quick. And if you didn't know, this, we found that is this out from our thing. These are actually like a, well these aren't as bad, but they're like a metal. The ones on top of the tiki are metal. So I'm just gonna record until the battery runs out. But, it's always neat. It's always neat, definitely recommend. I mean, it just takes a few minutes most of the time, all depending on the pace you go through. And we're taking it easy and looking and stuff. And Huh, is that the Jungle Cruise where they come out? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could you see that? The, I'm sure most of you heard the bear being in Magic Kingdom. He could have set up shop. Never left. And that's probably what they were thinking the whole time too. We were like, we can't let the bear get to the Swiss Family Robinson house. He'll never leave. Uh, thing we'd have to eat dinner out every week. We could have breakfast and eat food. I don't think I could. How would you store your food? Your food? Yeah, we'd go out and go fishing. We'd have fresh fish, fresh rat, whatever else we could. My throne. You know, all it's missing is a hole in the bottom. <laughs> it would be her throat all right. <laughs> There's the world famous jungle cruise. Still, just even quiet. It's just quiet. It's nice. So I really wanted ice cream from the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor. 
but uh, that line's too long. I'm getting jaded when I see a line that's too long, and that stinks. I love our house of magic. Puzzles and tricks. And look at the pumpkins up there. So you got a magical wand, a crystal ball, and a deck of cards. And look, a rabbit popping out of a hat. They got the... This is the Christmas ornament for 2023. And that is $29.99. And they do have a ball, too. And Pluto, Mickey, Minnie, Chip and Dale at the bottom there. It'll say 2023. Jolly holidays to you. Oh, that's cute. And how much is that? That is $24.99. And a tree topper. They got a stocking for Mickey and one for Minnie. And these, we, we showed these already, um, not on this video, but Lauren posted them. You got Mickey, and then down here, I believe you got Minnie. And they are $29.99. You got this plush, that's a Christmas ball. And then this blanket. Oh, that's a cool blanket. Look at that. It's a plaid throw. And it's 50 by 60 inches. And that is neat. Oh, and it's reversible. That's what that means. And that's the pattern on the back. Oh, that's neat. And let's try to find out how much this is. This is $44.99. And the stockings are $34.99 for Mickey and then Minnie. You got ears, you got plushes, spirit jerseys, Crocs. You got little kid slippers. Oh, they're cute. How much are they? Oh, and they come with little socks too. $34.99. Got a mini plush. I like that. I like that. Just put your on a time schedule. And that is $29.99. And I believe there is a Mickey plush that goes in heat dresses. Or uh, not dresses, Santa, but close. He's wearing green pants. We do have a lounge fire with all the stuff on it. We got Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Simba, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, Dumbo, Stitch. Stitch is on everything. The nephews, Baby, Pinocchio, Thumper, Genie. And a hoodie. We got Jeannie, Tinkerbell, Peter Pan. And this is, do we have a price? Do we have a price? It's $59.99. And anything on the back? Nope, and nothing inside the hood. Just a red hoodie with pockets in the front. It says Walt Disney World. Do not open until Christmas. Yep, that was nice. You got the ears. We already posted these. Probably $39.99. Because they're lounge fly. They're cute. So we are heading out of Magic Kingdom. Um, I don't know where are we going. Um, Hollywood Studios? Maybe. Or
but I once sat in our yard. Oh, it's out. Follow me in the back. We're in Animal Kingdom right now, and we did stop over at Hollywood Studios, but uh, the wait times were long. We did pick up two requests on it, but um, the wait times were crazy. We kind of found out that with the with the Halloween party, um, the wait times at Magic Kingdom at first would go down because you know when you're on vacation, you don't want to go to Magic Kingdom uh, unless you're going to the party uh, on a short night, on a short day, because it closes early. Um, and then we found everybody was going to the other parks, but I guess the secret got out that wait times were low on party nights. So um, people, there was a lot of people at Magic Kingdom, and uh, all the wait times were pretty high. So the whole, you know, it's a party night and the wait times are low. I guess that well, got out. We also, we also kind of got that kind of. I don't know. Wait, I yeah. feel like people started starting to the party. Yeah, by the time we got there. And then um, we did stop at Hollywood Studios. Uh, we did uh, manage to get two things there, but the wait times were crazy there. So we thought, they were, oh, yeah, and let's go to Animal Kingdom and go on the safari. And literally, we were walking up to the safari and they closed at 6. And we it, didn't stop to use the restaurant. Yeah. It would have made it, but I would, would have probably not made it on the ride. Yeah, through your ride, yeah. But um, they released a bunch of new merchandise here at Animal Kingdom, and I'm just going to kind of show some stuff real quick. So they had this really nice, it's a stand uh, with the symbol of, of the Animal Kingdom on there made of wood it's fifty dollars but that's that's really nice they have a tray here bamboo tray that's thirty four ninety nine a new pattern shirt button down shirt that's really nice they got a pillow I love all the colors in there and the silhouettes and stuff like that and that is the pillow is drum roll please $39.99. And they have, look at this backpack. It's like a cloth material. But look at the colors on it and the design. Let me pull that out a little bit more. Look at that. That's nice. And it's a snap front with a drawstring. And that's the pattern inside. It does have a pocket in the front, which is snap. And you got the, it is a lounge fly. It's got the Mickey buttons on it. In the back, the straps. That's really nice. And that is $78. They have this wooden ornament. And that is like etched in there. You can find that. See, and that is $21.99. And look at these ears. You got the monkey there. Elephant. And they are probably, they're not lounge flies, so they're probably $34.99. Uh, there is no price on this one. So they're probably $34.99. And then this is the new box set that we opened. Let's see if I can get a good close up on that. And that's a puzzle set. 
and that is $19.99. Let me show the mirrors again because look at the mirrors, they're really, really nice ears. And what's on the back? Oh, Wayne has to get that, it has a snake and a lizard. In the backpack, I already showed that. Really nice. They have a t shirt, Mickey, with a silhouette. And that is probably $34, $39.99. They have this Mickey t shirt too. It has Animal Kingdom on the sleeve. And no price on that. Um, Tees are. <laughs> Always love the theming here at Animal Kingdom. By far, some of the, I think, the best theming in the, in most of the parks, other than Galaxy's Edge. And now that it's been here for a while, like the trees and stuff like that, they've all kind of thrown in and just makes you really feel like you're somewhere other than Florida. So we picked up some drinks at, uh, I don't think, oh, we've been in here before. Huh? The Tusker House? Well, that's the restaurant. That's it's the bar. bar. The bar outside of Tusker House in Africa. And um, I got uh, Lost on Safari. Lost in Safari? Or Lost on Safari. Looks something like the picture. Does huh? it look like a picture like a reddish color? Um, that's why I went and I was like, what's the way? And then you got uh, Pongo Jungle. Jungle, Jungle Juice, right? Pongo Jungle Juice or something like that? Jungle Juice. But they're really good. I like mine. I haven't tried hers, but she says she likes mine better than hers. Okay. What's back here? I ordered that restaurant. Like, this is this is one resort that um resort. This is one part that I don't think I've explored it as much as the other ones. And there's stroller parking. Oh, is that, uh, that's not the Festival of the Lion King, is it? That's the exit. That's the exit? Look, it's the Hambardi, whatever, uh, Tourist Information Bureau. So we put out a video where you actually, when Animal Kingdom first opened, you had a river tour. I don't know if this was part of the river that you toured, but I think it was, right? It had to be. And see, there's the Festival of the Lion King, which another highly recommended show. Definitely well worth it. God, it, it seems like it's been forever since I've been back in this section. Huh? I like mine better. Yours is kind of like bitter. So pretty soon we will be heading from from Africa to off world Pandora. You know what I was thinking? 
You know how they're trying to think of, well, I don't know now, what are they putting in? Um, sorry, got loud. Um, dinosaur man. They're talking about Indiana uh, Jones, Indiana Jones and, and, uh, in Conto. You know which one would be a great addition here, I feel like? It's Australia or Down Under. No? Yeah. Yeah, well, the whole the whole thinking behind Indiana Jones and Encanto would be like a Central America, Northern South America uh, area. Because they got Asia, Africa, Pandora. <laughs> Pandora. <laughs> yep. Find Pandora on the map. Look how beautiful this all is. So we're going to see, so it says a 50 minute wait, and it is currently 6.45. So we'll see if this is a 50 minute wait. I'm hoping that it's not a 50 minute wait because I really don't want to wait 50 minutes. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, we should go ride dinosaur. I need to park this before Amy and Chuck. <laughs> Amy and Chuck, come down. Get your practice in for dinosaur, especially since. Uh, it's closing. I wonder if it will still be open. Yeah. I mean, in a way, I'm so excited for the changes coming. Um, I just hope to kind of quick about it. That's one thing that. Um, oh. That's one thing with um, when we see when we see that they're making all these changes, which is great. Which is great. I, I really hope the changes take effect. And I mean, there's been videos on rumors of adding a vill villain's land behind Magic Kingdom. Uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. And and as a yeah, as a pass holder and somebody who lives down here now, I really hope all that goes through because it's exciting like when Tron finally opened up it took forever for Tron to open up um, and, and it's so neat to be able to experience that now I say that in Guardians of the Galaxy we still haven't rode that but um, I'm excited excited for uh, the future if it is what they say it is but sometimes they'll throw stuff out They'll say, oh, we're doing this, we're doing that, and then they don't do it. But I'm hoping that they do. And in, even though we are in the world of Pandora, but I've always enjoyed this section of the park. I wish it was bigger. I, I don't know, sometimes I, uh, I mean, it's nice that they have two rides here, two attractions. Just most, more than most, but. Uh, a what? A zoo? That'd be neat. Like the different lands, like China, like Asia would have panda well, bears. No, do you, do you, did you hear about the panda bears? China is bringing them all back. Within the next year, there will not be a panda bear anywhere other than in China. If they did uh, Australian land, they could have a panda bear. Like, yeah. Do lands for like that. Yeah, well, if they do Australia, you're going to have to have all the spiders and snakes. and. <laughs> that look on Gwen's face was priceless. Well, Australia has more deadly. of the deadly animals or insects. The cute cuddly. Animal Kingdom. The cute cuddly.
And then we come out and it's dark. So that was a half an hour wait. Really? That's yeah. No, because we got in line at 6.45. I checked my the time. It was 7.12. And then they were like, party of four, party of four. And I was like, we're a party of two. So we moved right up, got right on the ride, and got on the ride. So uh, it was 28 minutes. I felt so much longer. It was 28 minutes. But um, yeah, no, when it, dark. yeah, at night. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. Because Animal Kingdom closes at seven, which it's a little after seven now. But it closes at seven, and you can't really enjoy all this. They're extending. Park hours? Yeah, for um, now. I don't know when it starts for here, but um, oh, sorry. I don't think I cried. Like, I think look it's at the. But I think it's only till eight. Yeah, but even an hour longer. Better than nothing. Yeah. But how the the ground? Take a look it up. Get here. You don't see this anymore. Now, once they change the the clocks, look at that. I mean, that's awesome. Like you never get to see this stuff during the day. And this is what this is this land's all about is at night. It's like all the stuff that comes out. Like that that's all lit up over there. And the whole time the, the ground. You can see how Like this is when it 
Animal Kingdom has a lot to offer. It's just unfortunately it's not open later at night. Yeah. Like I, I understand because the animals. I'm yeah, sure but but like walking around Africa, you know, if they had that, like just like an African. Yeah. yeah. Still, I mean, it's better in my eye, but still. Feels yeah, she got something in it. But, so, it ended up being a long day. Yeah. Much right? longer than I thought it was going to be. But, still have to go home and do some things, too. Yeah. I guess we should have asked them to switch over. We, we need to stop at Publix, too. Oh. No way, no. Oh, we gotta keep uh, tabs on time because public still. Uh, I was yeah. complaining about that the other day. We stopped at the grocery store and it was closed. I was like, crap, I forgot. Down here. And the funny thing is, in the tourist area, you would think that places would be open later, later because you have all these tourists that are leaving the parks late or yeah. arriving late or departing well, late. Well, when we came down in 2020, uh, we were told when we stayed at Kiani Village to make sure we had food in the room because there was like Yeah, nothing. that was nothing. But that was, diff that was yeah. different. But, but, but um, the grocery stores, I mean, I don't even think they ever, like back in Delaware, we had grocery stores that stayed up for 24 seven. And then they cut back in for 2020. And I guess some might have done it sooner when they weren't maybe get business, business, but they would at least be up until midnight. Yeah. So, so that's an how we got on a grocery rant because yeah, I said we have to stop at the grocery store. But we gotta store. watch time when we do that yeah. because by the time we leave here to get to the grocery store. Yeah. So, but um, we had a good day. Because it is a, well, it, also, it's a, it is a Sunday. Yeah. They used to close a little bit earlier, but now I think they're the same time. So we had a good day. Whatever. Sorry. <laughs> we started at Magic Kingdom and uh, went to Hollywood Studios. Sorry, I didn't show anything there, but we really didn't do anything. We just we walked shopped in, and, walked and we they didn't release any new merchandise or new things that Lauren has and, and Gwen haven't posted anyway. So, uh, Animal Kingdom has released some new stuff. We saw that in Africa, and then uh, we had to get a ride in. So. Yeah, because we, we didn't in the get river in any ride. Yeah. So. Every time we try to get in the line. Like we said, we did try to, we really yeah. wanted to do some parties. Cause that's our favorite. I mean, yeah. that's yep. my favorite. That would have been neat at sunset. But, to do yeah. It. But, um, we didn't make it in time. Um, what was the other thing? Well, almost four park, four park day, but yeah. we didn't get to Epcot. Yeah. I didn't want to get to Epcot because we could still go to Epcot, but I don't. I'm yeah. ready to. Or I'm tired. Yeah. But it's like, we also trying to get to um, do an Epcot on the night of Mickey's Not So Scary. It's, it's it, uh, yeah, it's crowded and crazy. Especially with Sorry, parking. I had to switch hands. With park. When's grocery rant Sorry. got me <laughs> But yeah, it, the parking, when we drive in, it's like just stop and get. Like it's just. Cars, cars, and you're parking crazy. So, don't really want to do that on a party night. So, and we needed stuff from there, but we'll get there this week. So, but so thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.